What is going on folks? My name is Josh and you are watching The Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back to the channel. In today's video, guys, I'm at the Erie Canal, but I'm doing a little something special, so come on along. Bam! Look at that big mama jamma, folks. here at a popular canal fishing spot i'm trying out a new frog guys the local stores by me stopped selling the booyah pad crasher so i've been trying some frogs at some local spots and i haven't really found one that i liked today we are on the z-man walking frog so <clears throat> first impressions right off the bat guys it has a very tall body and a very deep V keel to the frog. And I don't know if I'm gonna like that. It means when you get up on weeds, it's probably gonna turn this thing sideways and you're very likely to catch weeds. But let's not make any impressions on that without having tried it. So <clears throat> let's get a little bit of a cast out there. I've had trouble with recent frogs that sink too much. Well, it does turn on its side and catch a little bit of the weeds. Tag into my knots catching some weeds. Okay, <clears throat> moving in a little closer. I'm on pretty thick stuff. So I'm just giving it a pop pop. It is kind of laying on its side though. Not a fan of that. Thing's probably gonna come back with a ton vegetation on it all right all right two casts without squeezing it let's test it there's no water in there all right now let's go on the outside outside of this grass mat let's go open water let's see how she walks looks pretty dang good if you ask me guys Not a lot of that frog sitting above water now. I have a feeling it's got some water in it. Things holding some water. Yeah, there was a little bit in there. This is a copolymer, so it's not gonna, doesn't float 100%. I'm gonna go down the bank here and see what happens the greatest view for you guys plus it's not the best angle for me I'm not, I'm not super happy about popping it in this direction oh I got a big old hit all right we're going over there let's come from another direction let's hopefully keep that fish guessing Nice thing. I'd say this thing puts in puts out about as much water as a booyah possibly. All right. Instead of being, I was I was really hoping that this was just a very froggy spot, and that I was going to be able to get a couple fish on the copolymer line, and it wasn't going to hinder me too much. But it's looking like that's the opposite. So we're going to throw on some braid, and we're going to make it happen. One, two, three, four. Okay, whoops. Looks like I just broke the glue seal on the front of this frog. It's probably about to take on some more water. Ah, oh, it drives me nuts when the fishing is like this. Guys, in my defense, and I'm not trying to make excuses, but we had thunderstorms yesterday. Big, big front push through, and it's gonna happen again today. Real funky stuff happening to the weather here, messing with these fish. I got one other spot in mind. If this isn't gonna work, really there's no fish back there or in that hole. A couple hours already, guys, and I haven't made any frog bites. Making me nervous. 
very deep V keel on this bait really helps this thing walk. It doesn't take very much to make it walk. So you can actually really hammer home on this thing and get it to walk quick if you need to. Got a fish. There it is. Oh, this fish is pulling drag. Yes! Holy moly, got that topwater fish I've been looking for. Whew. That is awesome. There we go, never mind. Whew. Not a huge fish, guys, but it's a fish nonetheless, and I'm stoked about it. Look at them flaring the gills out. All right. Put him back with the release. There we go. Let her bud. Ah. Okay, guys. That was a decent little two pound fish. Got wrapped in the grass, started slipping drag, pulling real hard. Let's take a look at this frog on first look after we get hit. First fish. Hole in the bottom looks about normal. The glue on the top of the front of the bait hasn't come undone yet, even though I unattached the glue on the bottom. Um, it's good, guys. It's not scratched up bad. It's not ripped. So far, not so bad. All right, guys. We're back at another popular spot on the canal. I just drove down a ways. Let's see if we can at least rope in one more. What are people fishing here? Ah. Wow. Somebody smartened up and started fishing Kytex. That's interesting. What kind of weight is that, guys? Hit me up in the comments and let me know. Well, looks like that eye that I glued back on is gone, guys. The Gorilla Glue did not hold it on, which is odd. So far, durability, I'm going to have to give this thing an 8 out of 10 already. Less than 24 hours of ownership, and the eye is gone. One fish. The storm's rolling in, and I think they're coming in earlier than the weather said. At least when I left the house, that very well could have changed by now. Guys, so far, this thing, it does not take on a crap ton of water like a previous frog that I've been running. Thinking about doing a video about the best sub $10 frogs. Thanks. Yup. Large, large mouth. Yeah, there's a mess of them in here. This, they're healthy too. He's little, but he's he's got a good gut on him. This guy back. Um. Oh, feels good to get that fish, guys. Missed him twice. Watched him blow up. 
Seems to be the name of the game today. I'm not catching any fish where I didn't see action already. I've been chasing blow ups. Well, and there goes the other eye, guys. Eye number two, gone. All right, guys, so what I'm doing to get these bites, what I figured out is that we've got this inside grass edge, clumps of grass in the middle, and an outside grass edge, but there seems to be a pocket on the inside of that outside grass edge. So, throwing across the bank, getting as close to the bank as I can, and trying to slow walk it through that little, what I'm gonna call no man's land. For frogs. Right, two hot ones on the bite today. I've caught a few, but they're they're hiding out in the thick stuff. That's yeah, for I sure. Oh, almost. <laughs> right as that lady says that, I get one strike on the bank. I just, you know, a lot of people might think it is too hot to fish. I got a, I got a buddy that swears. It's, if it's too hot, they ain't biting all the time, it ain't worth it. But not this guy. Oh, that, that fish is still striking. It's still there. I am in it to win it, guys. I'm in it to get that fish now. It has shown me its cards. Two strikes. It's interested and hungry. I just gotta keep putting the cast where they're supposed to be, and I'll have a chance. Oh my gosh, guys, I want one of them new uh, high speed, high speed gear ratios. I want one of them 9 1. Again, terrible cast. Got to get it in that little pocket between the brush there, the brush there, and the grass line, and the rocky edge. There's a little soft, there's a little sweet spot where this bait has to land to get these fish interested. They're reaction striking. They're not traveling for it. They're not that interested in it, but they're being opportunistic. There it is. Might be a little too far to the right, unless there's another one on that log. Yep, a little too far to the right. That fish seems to be very particular on where they're, into, where they're gonna strike this bait. And I don't have a lot more time, guys. The wife needs the car. Oh my God. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Yep. <laughs> now normally you would think because of this, the water's like glass, so it would probably not be the best day for frogs and Today probably isn't the best day for a frog. It just goes to show that in the summer there are better days for frogs and there are worse days for frogs, but every day is a frog day. But guys, I'm on a frog mission. I don't have any other tackle with me. This is it. I don't even have one more frog with me. I have this Z-Man frog and that is all. This spot's gonna be a little more tough because I gotta cast through these little windows of brush. But fish just jumped over there, so I want to see what I can do to get it. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, I like that frog a lot, but I got to say, I'm still really partial to the Booyah Pad Crasher. I've yet to find a frog at that price point that does what that frog does. With that said, guys, I'm not going to tell you not to buy the Z-Man frog. I think it's a good product. It does turn a little bit on its side, but it is easier to walk for new frog anglers, so keep that in mind. Guys, if you like any of the products that I feature in my videos, I put links in the description to Amazon where you can use my affiliate links to get those products at no extra cost to you, and it helps me and the channel and me make extra videos for you guys and go to cooler places and do cooler things. So thank you guys for those of you who have used those links and supported me and the channel through that. I thank you guys. I can't begin to thank you guys enough. I appreciate that so much. All right, this is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're one of the 95% of my viewers that haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right there you're not going to want to miss out on all the future stuff that i do if you haven't seen any of my other content and you're interested check out one of these videos and i'll see you next time Bam.